flush the toilet just to check. at the compost it's all done and we're gonna go inside first check it out so I bet you don't know where these stones came from out of the ground we pulled those out of the ground whenever we were digging this trench so you'll see the footage there we were digging a trench to get to the sewer and tie it all in from the back but those came out of the ground this is the entrance from the beautiful living room into the master suite. That's a good place for it. It doesn't have any furniture yet. But it has its own separate AC system. But this is a modest room addition, master suite. So this is this is what, what they needed and take a look at the, the finish out end that matches the level of the home. Beautiful little master suite. Still like the makeup here, she still likes that. Nice little window right here. Get some natural light in on your face. Little water closet. And a really nice frameless glass shower. Beautiful shower. Beautiful finish, the edges on it. Plenty of room. If you had to, you could assist someone getting back in there. It's in a small space, but quite roomy. And then a custom closet finished out. This is one of the ways that we, we finish out our closets. Of course, this one has a little cabinetry in it with pullouts. Most of it is just open, adjustable shelves. It's a really nice little closet. Organized very, very well. We build these on site them on site. So, so we have all can lights in this particular bathroom and then you've got your natural light coming through the window. But that's a good good way to do it also. Because when you have only can lights you get shadows but with this light coming through that helps and they're out further which helps a lot too. Very nice visual. The outside look, the patio extension looks great. Justin standing on the, the party pad. Got some new grass going in here. Fixed some old siding that was damaged there. I remember that. Still got a couple of stickers on there. Low E glass. But everything matches really, really well with the home. The windows, the vision on the windows, except they're more energy efficient. And let's not forget that this ground slopes away and the inside of this building is lower than this. It's actually down in. The inside of this building is actually about that much further down. And so that, that's a really nice feature to keep that moisture out, but to have the same height seating, we didn't have to, to change the building height that way. Kept the eight foot siding. Got the new grass going in there. And they have a view of their little patio that they already had. That was nice. We didn't have to affect any of this. And here's where we were coming in and out all the time. Remember that? We had a door, and now it's a window. So that worked out really good. Well, it looks done. Everything's working. Flush the toilet just to check. So, we're all done, and I'm very proud of it. It's another beautiful room addition. I like it because it's a modest one. It's not maybe one of the biggest room additions we've done, but it shows how we can do a downstairs master suite for someone at a very reasonable cost when they've got the upstairs master suites that they can no longer use. And this is the most, well, it's actually the fastest growing segment of the remodeling industry, dual master suites. This is a good reason why and a good example of how you can get it done.